The shamed former Scottish Government Health Secretary DID pocket the substantial payoff after calls were made for him to hand it back for quitting in disgrace. Disgraced SNP MSP Michael Matheson DID accept his £12.7,000 taxpayer funded golden goodbye despite attempting to cheat the Scottish Parliament out of £11,000. New records acquired through freedom of information legislation show that the shamed former Scottish Government Health Secretary netted £12,712. 25 in resettlement grants. Calls were made for him to turn this down after he was forced to quit Hamza Yusuf's administration after receiving a damning report about his behaviour. All cabinet secretaries who leave their role are eligible for three months' salary paid as they settle into a backbench role. It means that even though Mr. Matheson paid back his attempted expenses claim of £11,000, this extra cash boost means he has not really been put out of pocket by the scandal. He is currently suspended from the Scottish Parliament until September after being found guilty of improper conduct. Dot opposition critics blasted this revelation that he pocketed the money. Scottish Tory chairman Craig Hoy told the Scottish Daily Express, People will be appalled that Michael Matheson, having wrongly claimed £11,000 of public money and then lied about it repeatedly, should now be getting even more for standing down as a minister. Most people think that he should not have received a penny of taxpayers' money, and should resign as an MSP. The shamed Falkirk West MSP attempted to claw back £11,000 in expenses from the Scottish Parliament after racking up the significant bill while on a family holiday to Morocco. After it became public knowledge, he repeatedly insisted that the bill was due to him doing constituency work and a faulty e-SIM card. He then lied to both the media and his fellow politicians as he stated this position despite being told by his kids that the cost was their fault. He tearfully came clean in a ministerial statement, confessing that his children had used his hotspot in order to watch Scottish football games. This prompted a parliamentary investigation into his actions which found that he repeatedly ensured officials that the expenses was correct even though they told him that it could only have been that much if he had been using it for streaming. He also failed to tell the presiding officer about his kids' confession. First Minister John Swinney blew up the SNP's general election campaign by disputing the punishment decided by MSPs, a suspension from Parliament for 27 days and his salary being withheld for 51 days, claiming it was prejudiced. In the end, the SNP refused to vote for any sanction, and he was never suspended from the party. Mr. Matheson accepting the payoff was also labelled hypocritical as both him and Mr. Swinney rallied against golden goodbyes when in opposition in 2002. As SNP leader back then, he commented on former Deputy Justice Secretary who netted a £6,000 payout after quitting his role when he referred to striking firefighters as fascists. The now First Minister said, in any other job if you are found guilty of gross incompetence you do not receive a pay-off but you simply get a P45 and are shown the door. Mr Matheson, as the Nats Deputy Justice spokesman, added that it was completely ridiculous that Mr Simpson was entitled to the money. They vowed the SNP manifesto would include a promise to end such a practice. A Scottish Parliament spokesman said, legislation states that after a 90-day period, the equivalent of three months' salary is payable on ceasing to hold a ministerial position. The SPCB has no discretion in relation to the payment of resettlement grants. The SNP has been approached for comment.